This is hole number 10. We started on 10 today, and this is 368 yards. Right down the pipe. Good drive. I had, uh, that's my 60 degree, I believe, so I had 90, I think I had almost 100. And I bailed. <laughs> I didn't want to pull it, <clears throat> and I missed a shot because of my camera. I will explain. So I parred this hole. This is hole 11, 417 yards. Here's an explanation. I got a new camera. This is the Hero 5. And it's just not behaving properly. It keeps turning off. It keeps Hit another really good drive right down the middle. And I had 417 in right here. I used my 9 iron. I only had like 155 to go. And I flew it. Went significantly over, chipped back up. Not very good because of the lie. The lie is really thick right there. My fault. And I destroyed that putt right there. I've been really uncomfortable with my putting up until this week. I really figured something out. So uh, then I missed that putt. Yeah! Man, that is so frustrating. I doubled that hole. There's no way I can win if I'm doubling holes. Okay, 181 yards. I think this was actually playing like 190, and I had my 7 iron there, I believe. Hit a good shot. G-I-R. Had this for bird. Yeah. Left it short. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay, two over. And I had, that was 506 yards. This is a par five. Hit a good shot right down the middle. Another fairway. This is good. Very good, right? And I had 220, I believe. And uh, I hit a good shot. I hit it over the pin. And I have this for Eagle. I didn't want to leave it short. It's the one thing I was considering is just, you know, if you have an Eagle opportunity, get it to the freaking hole, man. There's no way it's going to drop to the bottom if you don't even get it to the hole. And I went above it, and I went way past it. I'm not very happy with that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And good. short again. Ow. Ow, no. Man, oh man, what a terrible ruined opportunity that is. Put it on the green. Come on, dog. Yeah. Okay. 391 yards. And another fairway. Another fairway shot. And all of a sudden, I don't know what got into my head, but I went really uncomfortable right here. I was so uncomfortable here. The swing doesn't look bad. Maybe a little deliberate. Anyway, I yanked it. Had a terrible shot. And then I had to get over this yeah, bunker, and yeah. I screwed that up. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I just lost focus all of a sudden. It was it, it was like a brain fart. That was for bogey right there. And I found the bottom of the cup. So I'm three over. I'm not really uncomfortable, but I could just tell I think I'm maybe swinging too fast and I need to swing a little bit smoother all right this is dog leg right 390 yards this is a very annoying hole and the camera just died once again just issues with the camera I haven't figured it out so um, 
I only had like 120 in right here. And once again, for some reason, I don't know what got into me, but I just started wow. doing dumb things. So I set up the camera. Off. The camera died again. And that was for par. By the way, I'm going kind of fast in this nice. yeah. voiceover. Because um, I'm gonna comp I'm going to be competing soon, so getting ready for competition is more important than pumping out great content at this point. Although I want to be consistent, I also don't want to take away from my practice time. This is for bogey and to go four over. All right, this is a part three, and it was. Playing 167 on this day, so I use my 8 iron, which is plenty. Plenty! My amigos? Plenty! Somebody talked in my backswing there. That was good to back off. Reset. I can see right here, I'm watching myself set up. I've made an adjustment this week that is going to help a lot. Yeah. And it bounced back and then went into the water. So I had to take a drop. This is my third shot right here. Get in. Get in. Got a boy. Hey. Oh, yeah. How do you it's like not that? A chip in par after going into the water. Okay, par five. This is 550 yards. Uh, hit the fairway again. I was striking the ball fairly well, although I wasn't super duper comfortable. I was striking the ball well. I used my five iron there to get, uh, I just wanted to lay up. And I ended up hooking it a little bit, and so it went into this bunker. This is a waste bunker. And I had uh, 126 to the pin right here. This is my 52 degree wedge. And that was really good. I actually hit it over the pin. Wow. Look how uncomfortable that stroke is. It's like a jabby, nasty, little awkward punch job. It's not good. I can tell you that right now. And I, I just learned this week that if you're jabbing the ball, it's because you're uncomfortable. It's because you don't see the line. See, in voiceover, whenever somebody reads a piece of copy, they quickly try to get through it because they're uncomfortable, because it's not natural to them, because something just doesn't feel right. Well, in golf, I'm, I'm beginning to learn that if you don't see the line, you're going to jab at it a little bit. You're kind of like reaching for it. Anyway, I uh, bogeyed that. That was dumb. Really dumb. I mean, that was only like three feet. But... You know, as I talk about this and, and explain this jabbiness deal, I, it, it's because I'm uncomfortable. But within the last couple of days, I've really figured something out that's helped out a lot. Anyway, this is a par five. It's it's only it's 460. They recently moved this hole back because they added a way back blacks to this hole, which I think are probably about 600 yards. Anyway, I had a 220 in right here. This is my five wood. And I hit a pisser right on the green. That was a good shot. Really happy about that. So I have, uh, I'll be putting for eagle. And there I am cleaning my divot. I'm just about to take a look. And guess what? The camera died. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I birdied it. I had uh, I two putted for birdie. And that was it, my amigos. So uh, that's it for this half. My friends, this is a $100 buy-in. I had a bunch of side bets on the side, and then I had skins game. There was good money to be had. There was six of us in the group, or seven of us, so it's, uh, I think the breakdown was 70-30. It's a good day for whoever wins. Stay tuned. Okay. All right.